Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video about how I determined that my baseboard heater was 220 volts as opposed to the outlet right above it, that's 110. I have a Rambler, which is what we call it in the Northwest. Uh, it's a three bedroom, one bath, one story house, kind of typical of the small houses built in the 60s and 70s here. And I'm refurbishing the bedrooms by replacing the outlets and the baseboard heaters and the wood flooring and painting and new trim and all that kind of stuff to make everything look new. And the problem I was running into is that when I went to purchase a baseboard heater to replace the existing one, uh, the wires look exactly the same. Here's the baseboard heater line and here's the 110 outlet right above it. And so I didn't know how to determine what is the voltage of this heater line here. And I looked around online, I looked on YouTube, I couldn't find anything. So eventually I found a little article that said how to determine that you have a 220 volt line that happened to match my setup. So I want to make a video about that and explain how I went about testing these things. All right, here's my main breaker panel. And uh, this is the heater to the bedroom, so I had that off while I was removing the heater. And this is the outlet above that heater line, and so I had that off while I removed the outlet. So let's turn those on, and then we can go test. Alright, I got power turned on to both of these lines to the 110 outlet up here and to the baseboard heater. So now we can go about testing them. And the way that this outlet works is there's a line that comes from the breaker panel to this outlet. And then there's a line that goes from the outlet out to feed the rest of the outlets in the room and the light above. So to test this outlet, we go from the black wire to ground. And you can see 110 lights up. See that? 110. And the corresponding neutral to ground, and there's no power on that because it's the neutral line. So this one, from the breaker to the outlet, just has 110. There we go. And then for the line that leaves the outlet and goes to feed the rest of the room, there should be no power on that because it's not going through the outlet, so there's not, it's not connected to anything right now. And so we can test that, and you see nothing and the corresponding neutral to that one and let's see if I can get it here there's no power on that so the only one that has power to the outlet is this black wire 110 so then for the heater it's the same thing we just go from black to ground and you can see black to ground 110 there it is and from white to ground, this is the difference. That also has 110 on it. So both of these wires, the black one and the white one, they each have 110. And that feeds the baseboard heater. And so 110 and 110 is 220. So now we know that the line that goes to the baseboard heater is 220. And the line that goes to this outlet is 110. Now that we determine the voltage to each of the lines, let's turn them off. There's the heat, and here's the outlet, and we can go wire up the heater, the new heater, and rewire the outlet. Power's back on. Here's the thermostat. I have it uh, bumped up to 73 or something like that. It's at 67 right now. And outlet's hooked up. I just used it to vacuum up my mess. And the heater is hooked up, and we got heat coming off of it. So, looks like a success. Good luck, everyone. Hope this helps.